Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing today? <laughs> this um, is going to be another interesting topic for us to discuss today. Right, it's really so painful, right? I've already recorded a session on this particular topic. Right, <laughs> but unfortunately, I discovered that my microphone was not actually fixed. I mean, it wasn't, I did not select the microphone that I was meant to use. So I have to start all over again. That is actually the stress I, uh, the, uh, I mean, the educators on YouTube have to go through right before they make a content. So what we are making available for free is not actually done for free because we have to put all our resources into this time and everything. Even frustration as I'm free frustrated with this. I was just about to start editing. Right. And look at what I have. All right. <laughs> Let me not bore you with our story. Right. What we want to discuss today is really very, very important and very, very interesting. Right. I, I know I've actually taught on this particular subject before and I've also discussed it. Right. This subject or this concept is called the power of three or what we call the AMD. Right. I've already written it down here. Now, this particular concept or principle or whatever trading uh, view uh, is uh, the first person that made mention of this or that came about this was ICT, all right? ICT trading, that's an inner cycle trader, right? All kudos to him. But definitely, I actually am not a student of ICT. I did not also even learn this from him. He was the one that taught everybody that I've actually taught on this particular stuff. But I got to know about this particular subject in a particular, in a friend of mine, they are actually my friend of mine owns a YouTube channel. He's no longer doing that any longer. So I got to study those charts. He's also marking flashcards. So I saw that. So I studied it. So I started incorporating that into my method. But now I've actually used it in that diff I mean, in a different way entirely. So what do we call the power of three? Right? Why is it the power of three? Why? Because we just have three letters there. So we have accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. And basically, this is a very, very fantastic and interesting concept in the forex market. For example, when you spot market that is actually accumulating, right? When market is accumulating, right? We want to see manipulation, right? Then distribution. So accumulation phase will come. Then the manipulation, which we actually going to take out liquidity. Then we want to see distribution. So basically, this was what was taught, and this is really what many people that are trading this particular concept are actually using. But if you really want to know, um, I've actually thought on liquidity grab and things like that. So we're going to be using this in line with institutional order flow and market structure, right? I did a video market structure recently, so you can do well to see the video that is going to be suggested to you at the, uh, the, uh, the top side, or is it the right hand side there. Study that video and um, make it personal to you. So we're going to be using market structure at the same time. We're going to be talking about the good OB. So I've also thought on how to spot a very good OB, a very reliable one at that. So you can also see the video as it will be suggested to you. So you can go back to those videos and study them. So this particular stuff, all right, is going to be trade, uh, is going to be, uh, is going to be used in line with the market structure and institutional order flow. So how do you really want to do this? And this is what I'm going to bring to your notice now. So let's quickly see. I've actually made a drawing here, right? So let's see how this can now be used. Now look at this particular pattern. Can you see this particular pattern? Right. Look at how it looks, right? So we have accumulation, accumulation phase. So I use the accumulation. I use this particular uh, tool, right, to, to mark out my accumulation phase. Then we have manipulation and distribution. Now, before my distribution will be formed, now, the accumulation low or any swing point that is actually below that accumulation phase is going to be marked as my external structure. So I'm expecting that zone to be broken. If that zone is broken, then I want market to have actually created all the rules of my order block, right, before it's going to come back to break this particular zone. Don't forget, this particular zone will be tagged as my external structure, right? It is going to be named as my external structure. So looking at this, if my rules of order block are now made before price will come back to break this particular zone, then that is going to be a very good trade for me to take, right? Don't forget, that would be a very good trade to, for me to take if all these rules are now met. Are you following at all? So we want to see accumulation, manipulation, and this manipulation must be a very high one. I mean, high momentum one. 
a very very strong impulsive move then before we want to see this particular low being broken because many people would have actually been looking towards to buy from this particular area based on the fact that market is really 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 impulsive so eventually price market will break that particular zone then we want market to retrace back into this particular zone and continue to sell down and don't forget this pattern must be traded in line with market structure and institutional order flow so basically you want to spot this particular sell setup in a bearish market or, or, or in a bearish order flow and you want to spot this particular setup all right let me try to invest this right this particular pattern in a bullish market structure or in a bullish institutional order flow don't forget this is b the basic things i really want you to look out for now for example let me quickly explain that again right you want market to really be let's say market is dropping uh, lower low lower high lower low lower high then market just began to accumulate now look at this accumulation then give us this strong impulsive move they eventually break out that pattern now before it's going to break this particular pattern i want to see this my rules being met then at the same time if this rule will be met to just for me to preserve whatever thing i'm doing i also want this particular zone provided this particular zone is not broken this eye here provided is not broken then this particular trail is still is still valid until this particular zone is broken so this particular zone we're going to call that a point of invalidation or a point of invalidation that is when our setup will remain we now becomes invalid if the the last swing eye was now broken or the extreme swing eye that the impulsive move which is actually the accumulation the manipulation formed right very very important thing that you must take note of so we want this pattern to be formed price should retest just like what we have here price should retest that particular zone and continue to drop that is in a bearish market so i want to spot this particular pattern in a bearish market and in a bullish market i want to spot the bullish pattern of it in a bullish market or the bullish order flow so let's quickly look at one example that actually took place today on a five minutes time frame it's actually one of the trade i took today so let's see that example right so this is a trade here so i'm actually going to uh, cancel all this right and just delete this just for you to know what i'm really talking about all right just delete all those particular zone all right so we're going to start from the accumulation let me delete this all right let's start from here right so look at look at this price was really accumulating here then we have a strong impulsive move taking out this particular liquidity can you see that it took out this particular eye which can serve as a liquidity zone so basically we're going to mark out this as our accumulation phase as what has really happened and don't forget i personally i was also looking forward to really buy from here many people have been looking forward to buy from here now we have internal structure we have external structure which is fantastic so we are expecting price to come back to this particular zone as a buy trade for us right many people have actually been buying this and that is actually not wrong is in line with whatever things i've really been teaching but at the same time I am going to put a line here, right, to alert me if price, now I'm going to put an alarm here, if price gets to this particular zone, then I should be alerted that, oh, that zone has already been broken, then I will need to be looking for a selling opportunity. So, definitely, I'm going to mark that zone as my external structure. Let me call this my external structure. So, if at the end of the day, market structure, I mean, the price action now came back to break this particular zone. I will be looking forward to take a sell and provided within this particular zone that I have here from this eye to this particular uh, zone here, right? That's from this particular area, all this particular area will form the good OB. Now, if you don't understand what that good OB is, please look at this particular video at the right, I mean, uh, at the top of, uh, I mean, the right side here, the top side, right? Just look at that particular video, right? You are going to understand everything. I have explained on the on the three ways to trade, right? Three basic ways to trade, right? Or three basic rules to trade, and also how to spot a very good order block, right? So let's see what will happen if the buy trade is going to happen, right? Now you can see this particular external structure now got violated. Don't forget, I'm now looking for my what, my bias RZ. Then it must reject on a what, on a pseudo. Right, all those particular rules were, was made. Right, I've already suggested the video to you. You can study them for you to understand. So I'll be expecting price 
to come back to this and don't forget this particular trade is actually an entry for me because on the 15 minutes time frame price was really rejecting on its own not a clear zone but price was rejecting on there and so far i've already spot my pattern so that was why i was looking for a selling opportunity so on five minutes time frame again my target would be on this particular zone right which will give me one to four or this particular low here which will give me one to five point six or i can also target this ultimate zone here uh nine point something let me just go to one to ten right so those are the zones that you can really look out for for you to catch your trade so let's see what will happen right and this trade actually got us uh, we, we were triggered in as you can see this now let's see what will eventually happen our target was meant just in a day this was a trade that happened today so it's just fantastic as this should be it's just as simple as that so simple as that so you are going to see this particular trade on my telegram channel today as I, I, i'm actually going to send it out so basically based on the rule i've actually showed to you i mean the pattern i showed to you on that ej chart uh, uh you 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 will be able to apply this same particular rule accumulation manipulation then the distribution must surely break out a zone then you are now looking within this particular accumulation i mean manipulation phase you are looking for your pattern to be formed within that zone I mean, the good OB rules to be met. And if that is met, then just go for it. Then you're actually going to be in a trade there. So let me quickly show you another example of a trade that we're actually going to see. Now, I will use USD card, 15 minutes time frame. Don't forget, I've actually showed this video before. So um, it, it was because of what really happened. My microphone was not on. Right, you can see accumulation. Can you see this manipulation? And if you look at the main trend you will see that this particular trend is now showing some kind of a bearish move in fact i actually have to put the trend line here just for me to see what is going on so you can see right it's really rejecting on that right though we don't trade trend line anyway right so basic basically even on the four hour time frame this particular pair is really showing a bearish move now accumulation right manipulation then distribution came back to break the last low of the Asian, I mean, accumulation phase. So we are now looking for a block that fulfills all the rules of our good order block, and this meets that criteria. Price gave us an impulsive move; it was rejecting on this particular block. Then eventually, it gave also also gave us an internal structure. So this can be called internal structure. So we can call this into our internal structure here, and we can call this our external structure. So eventually, price came back. And broke this particular zone. So we expect price to retrace back into that. Then we should, can go for our one to ten. Can this trade get to one to ten? Though I was targeting this particular area, All right? This particular low here, All right? That particular low, All right? So you, you see that you target this particular area, which was actually the last low before that I, which is going to give you one to six point three, or you target the previous low. So these are the, actually the ways that you can place your target. Right, you can see it's just as simple as this. So we have many, many examples. Let me show you that on EJ, right, just like what I've actually displayed to you on the 20 minutes time frame here. Right, 20 minutes time frame here. Can you see the pattern? Right, 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 right. So can you see that? So in, in an inverse look, you can see for the buy trade. So you can backtest this and just look for these then you are going to see as many as possible just like what i'm just teaching you right now All right so let's quickly go back to to the chart and just show you some examples All right um now look at this accumulation can you see this accumulation All right after that accumulation then we have what manipulation a strong and positive move price came back to break the low of the accumulation phase now you can see this particular price action is rejecting on this. As I might go to 10 minutes time frame, I would have would have actually seen it better. Let's see 10 minutes time frame. Right, can you see this particular block was rejecting on here? Right, price broke down. Eventually, we have an internal structure break. I mean, we have internal structure break, we have external structure. Price retraced back into that, retest it here. But the ultimate one was here. Price retests retest it here. I would have actually taken this trade around this area. I actually took this trade you can uh, you can look for my uh telegram channel just go to my telegram channel the link is in the description box you're going to see this particular trade there 
I, I sent the aftermath of that. And you can see this spread actually gave more than 1 to 15 risk reward ratio. And you can see how beautiful this particular concept actually looks like. Now, the basic thing is just the accumulation in line with the trend, manipulation, distribution, break, must break the uh, the low of the uh, of the accumulation phase. And before then, it must have created your internal structure and external structure. If you don't understand what we mean by internal and external structure, please look at the video that will be suggested to you, right? Study that and you're going to really understand that principle. All right, guys, thank you for joining in. I hope you've gotten so much value from this. Please kindly help to like this particular video because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm, right, to recommend this video to as many traders as possible so that many traders will tend to see this particular information and this will really uh, help us to grow. You can see the stress I have to go through before making this particular video just to ensure that as my mentorship students are eating, you are also getting more values that you did not pay for. All right. So thank you once again. That's for the returning uh, subscriber. Thank you for always supporting. And please, our Signal page is now opened. The Signal service all right, was open as a result of many people requesting for it. At the same time, it's going to give me money. <laughs> no doubt. All right. But it is $150 per month. All right. And we also have a different special offer that you can go for. At the same time, our mentorship class is also open at the rate of $550. Then we have a special class, which is $2,500, right? This is going to give you the opportunity to have access to the lifetime mentorship, right? Which is a one-on-one -on -one class. At the same time, you'll be added to my special student class. At the same time, you're going to have access to all the signal service for life. That's actually $2,500, right? Because we are paying that large, that is why you're going to have opportunity to that. I hope you've gained value. Please kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are uh, a new viewer, all right? And if you are returning, right? I mean, returning viewer or uh, my subscriber, please kindly help me to make a comment, right? Like this video and also share this to as many traders as possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. I will see you in the next class.